Justice Alito? You make some very good points in your brief, but reading it, I was struck by the fact that the word Asian does not appear one time in your brief. Yet Asian Americans have been subjected to de jure segregation. Uh, they have been subjected to many forms of mistreatment and discrimination, including internment. So do you have anything to say this morning about the interests of students of Asian background and how your arguments impact them? Yes, Your Honor. So two points. One is that discrimination against Asian Americans is wrong. It's bad. We do not condone it at all. But two, our brief actually reflects the record in this case. There were no claims developed by petitioner involving the mistreatment or maltreatment of Asian American students. And I think well, that was one of the problems that happened with the first brief uh, is that they conflated their arguments against Harvard, which Mr. Waxman will you know, adequately defend shortly. But those arguments um, conflated the issues. There's no racial balancing claim against UNC. There's no allegation of quota. There's been a lot of talk about quota in this case. There's no claim about that. There's no claim against UNC involving the intentional discrimination against Asian American students vis-a-vis -vis white students or other students. So that record actually doesn't so exist. So what is your response to the simple argument that college admissions are a zero-sum game? And if you give a plus to a person who is an under, falls within the category of underrepresented uh, minority, but not to somebody else, you are disadvantaging the latter student. And, and Your Honor, the, you know, that's an that's a excellent point, but the record actually bears out about how, in this case, how the holistic admissions plan does end up operating. And it is where an individualized consideration is being made on a student's own talents, on a student's own achievements. So you're, you're, saying, you're saying that, the, that race in and of itself has no effect in, on, at the University of North Carolina? Absolutely not, Your Honor. OK, I'm, then I'm you would have no apology. objection to an opinion from this court saying you may not consider race. You may consider other things, but you may not consider the mere fact of race, period. You would have no objection to that. Your Honor, I, I don't know if I'm answering your question with a negative and a double negative here. But I do want to make clear that we fully support the limited consideration of race as it has been authorized by this court. Well, Again, then it I, is I just only don't, on an individual. I don't understand your answer. Either uh, if it's irrelevant, then you shouldn't care whether it's, it's ruled out. And we're not, our, if I'm articulating that, Your Honor, I'm not meaning to. We certainly believe that race within the context of an applicant may be considered as a plus factor. That's Race not only in itself in may be considered a plus factor. Yes, Your Honor. And therefore, those who don't get the plus factor have what is essentially a negative factor. No, not Your Honor. This, it's not the same thing? No, Your Honor, it's not, because it's looking at the whole applicant uh, as they apply within their whole application and their resume, et cetera. Suppose you have a race. Two people are in a race. And uh, you give a plus factor to one of the runners. So that runner gets to start. Uh, well, if it's a 100-yard 100 100-yard dash, let's say it gets to start five yards closer to the finish line. Uh, the one who doesn't get that plus factor is disadvantaged, right? That would be in that case, but that case is not here. There are no bonus points that are provided to any applicant at the University of North Carolina. That is fully prohibited by this court's decision in Gratz, and we're not suggesting that it should be reinstituted. 